Hello, I'm Tom Malogany for Inside EVs, and today I find myself in the upscale meatpacking district of New York City. Why am I here? Well, that's because Lucid Motors is introducing their very first Lucid Studio in New York City right behind me. Let's take a quick spin around and take a look at it. Okay, you could probably see right there the sign says Lucid. I'm gonna take a walk over there now and check out what Lucid has in store for their retail customers. But first, don't forget, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. All right, so I'm inside the Lucid Studio on 9th Avenue in New York City. Let's take a walk around and see exactly what Lucid has in store for us. All right, over here we've got a Lucid Air chassis. You can see up front where you have the power electronics, the Wonder Box. That's actually not the Wonder Box. The actual Wonder Box is right behind it. You can see the orange connector sticking out. I realized that after looking at the unit on display behind this chassis. Another thing of note is, you see those two blower motors that are kind of resting on top of that uh, control unit? They don't belong there. Somebody just rested them there. I'm not really sure why, but uh, later on, somebody just picked them up and removed them. That's in charge of charging the car and the front motor. Come down here, we've got some exposed battery modules. You can see four of them right there. An interesting thing about Lucid is that Lucid Motors actually designs the batteries for the Formula E series. All of the Formula E cars use Lucid technology in their batteries. Now, these batteries that are gonna be used in Lucid's production vehicles aren't exactly the same as the high performance batteries used in Formula E. Uh, because they're optimized for customer use, not for racing. Uh, but the technology that they use is transferred over. So Lucid actually should have batteries that perform really well under you know, repeated uh, high performance driving. Um, one of the things I'm looking forward to is see just how well that the Lucid Air does on the drag strip repeatably. Uh, if it uh, if they transferred some of their good technology over from Formula E, it should be able to really just do run after run without any uh, thermal throttling. Let's take a look in the rear here. We've got the motor in the back, which I don't know if it's really translating well in the video, but Lucid's motor is extremely compact. It's really amazing what they've been able to do with such a compact motor that I believe has 600 and 50 horsepower. Um, it's absolutely amazing how small that thing is. It looks like I could just pick it up with one hand. Now, I'm sure I probably can't. It's probably a little bit heavier than that, but if you take a look at the size there, it's a really compact package. Now, let's swing over here, take a look at this display we have here. This is on a loop, and it's giving you a walk through of the video, the interior, the functions, the lights, Come over here, we have uh, Silver Lucid Air. And one of the things I am really interested in talking to Derek Jen Jenkins, the VP of design, is this rear clamshell design. It's one of the things that uh, some people seem to comment negatively about. It's one of the features, I think, in the Lucid Air that maybe isn't everyone's most favorite. We're going to ask Derek about that and exactly why they designed this trunk to have this unique design. I, I would imagine it has something to do with the function and that the trunk will open really wide and you'll be able to get big things in and out of it. But as I said, it's not what many people view as the Lucid Air's best exterior characteristic. 
coming down the side here actually has really clean smooth lines Let's swing around to the front that distinctive lucid nose super clean for low arrow okay let's take a look over here to the left we have the vr experience which we're going to be checking out later that's actually not a driving experience it's like a virtual walkthrough of the interior of the video someone's actually getting set up to do that i'm probably going to jump in next and then we'll come over to this corner of the studio here and we have the different colors available the eureka gold stellar white infinite black cosmos silver quantum gray and my favorite zenith red i had the opportunity to check out a lucid air in the zenith red uh last year i think it was in september of last year and i just thought it looked stunning if i had the coin for a lucid air i think i would be definitely jumping on the zenith red and here is your apparel swing over here to the interior combos this is called mojave pure Lux, and then we just have the mojave we have the tahoe santa cruz and santa monica and over here we have the lucid connected home charging station now that's a 80 amp charging station that can deliver 19.2 kilowatts to the lucid air the lucid's capable of accepting 19.2 kilowatts um, and this also is supposed to be set up to do bi-directional feed so you should be able to use your lucid air to power your home via this charging station. You need this unit to be able to have the bi-directional power flow. Um, but as far as charging the Lucid Air, this can return about 80 miles of range per hour of charging at home, which is really incredibly fast charging at home. Now the, the Lucid Air has a huge battery pack, 113 kilowatt hours. So it's still going to take, you know, a number of hours to fill it from empty. Okay, so I'm here with Derek Jenkins, VP of Design. And what was that, Derek? Uh, and Brand. And Brand. Yeah. I got a terrible memory. Yeah. Of Lucid Motors. Uh, Derek's going to go over the design of the Lucid Air right here for us. Thank you. So uh, you're looking at our latest pre production car. Uh, so it's built in Arizona around February time frame. Uh, fully production or pre production representative across all components. Um, pretty good fit and finish here. We're still doing some refinements to uh, build quality of, of the software, but very, very much production representative. Always like to talk about the front of the car first because it kind of sets up the entire design and it, it is in, in many ways the face of Lucid. Um, big focus on this car with aerodynamics. Um, so really clean front end. The light blade is without question our core signature and that's defined by this trim element you see the daytime running light through the, through the very leading edge. And then of course our micro lens array technology. So that's key to our signature. The micro lens is important because you get this really, really slim um, uh, signature, as well as the energy efficiency that comes with the micro lens technology. Um, the rest of the front end is really defined by aerodynamics. Um, we have a very, very clean, minimalist air opening down below. This is shutter controlled at speed. Um, it also has our vortex induction technology, which is a, a cylindrical cyclone effect that's uh, created here that distributes the air evenly over the uh, radiators that are just in front of the uh, front wheels. This is important primarily because it allows us to take less air in and still uh, achieve optimal cooling. And that's important mainly for airflow, and that allows us to have better, better coefficient of drag. 
We have arrow management over the headlights, out the top ducts. Air curtain created by this intake comes out by the front wheel, and that creates that uh, very clean curtain of air down the side of the car, reduces turbulence, and ultimately creates a better flow off the rear of the car. Uh, the portion of lucid air is one of the things that I always tell is kind of my favorite aspect of the car because we really stuck true to um, EV technology, specifically lucid air's technology. We have very compact components in our battery, motor, inverter, and uh, charge uh, management system. Um, that allows us to optimize the interior space with this long cabin, which is quite long for a car in the mid-size um, class, um, and allows a much larger interior space for the occupants, more like a full-size uh, luxury vehicle. At the same time, maintaining a very large front trunk, or front, and a very large um, rear trunk. The cabin is really highlighted by our aluminum uh, uh, trim rails and glass canopy. And then as you come around the back, um, we have a very unique feature with this wraparound rear glass, kind of aircraft canopy inspired, and that's defined further by the shut line for the trunk starting on the side of the vehicle and wrapping around the rear. And it creates this very unique clamshell trunk and allows the back of the car to be super clean without any shut lines. We have a one-piece taillight, very unique in the industry, um, and creates a, a unique uh, uh, view of the car from the back. The other big advantage here is the uh, large opening from the side of the car. So you end up with a very, very large aperture from side to side, loading things horizontal, golf bags, etc. Um, deep trunk all the way through to the backs of the rear seats, and of course those seats fold down, and then you can fit larger items. I always talk about a six foot two surfboard, probably two uh, can fit in here, and then of course we have a double decker cargo down below where you have that second tier of storage um, in the lower. We're also going to be offering, with every vehicle, a portable charge, a one TED charge unit. That fits in a nice tailored um, satchel that goes in here. Keeps the back of the car really, really clean and optimized. Um, we're also going to have uh, all-weather cargo tubs for boots, wetsuits, dog stuff, whatever you might want to stick back there. Garrett, quick question. Yes. You said you're going to be offering a portable 110 charger. Yes. Um, that is just 110, right? It's not a dual voltage 110, uh, 240? That's correct. Okay. Good to go. Okay, so we're sitting in our, our pre-production Lucid Air. You know, I always like to talk about the glass canopy first because I think that's a huge feature in this car, especially like kind of this full flow through type effect that happens. Um, you know, all of the mountings for the visors are mounted directly to the glass. This is all highlighted by the central spine, our ambient light strip, our reading lights, and then our uh, housing for all our forward-facing cam cameras and sensors. Um, but the openness really gives a, a good feeling to air. And of course, we have our, our vanity mirrors up, up top here. There we go. The rest of the interior is really highlighted by our materials, our use of really nice high quality Napa leathers, our Alcantara, our tinted oak woods, and all of our bright trim. We have our 34 inch glass cockpit uh, touch display here, which is curved in, in both primary directions. We're curved in, in surround, and we're also curved in, in top view. So this is uh, all optimized for reach and viewability of the driver and then it has mounted in this one single space in the middle and is completely floating everywhere else. Um, coming down a little bit further, we have our analog touch area on the steering wheel, really simple controls for our dream drive and lane kip, lane assist uh, technology, as well as our multimedia. Vol you have volume control here, as well as uh, track advance. Through the middle, we have analog for temperature adjustment, as well as for fan adjustment up and down and volume control. So, you know, all your multimedia can be done quick touch. Don't need to get into the menus for any of that if you don't need to. Up top, home screen. Home has whatever's currently playing, temperature, 
um, time, etc. If I go to music, um, we're not on the network right now, but I can go in, adjust stations, go to Bluetooth, Tidal, Spotify, iHeartRadio, whatever. Uh, if I want to go deeper into the into the uh, audio, I can scroll down, and that opens the um, the whole system down below. So I'm here with Zach Edson, Senior Director of Retail Operations for Lucid, and we're going to go over a little bit of what the retail buying experience is for Lucid. So now, Zach, I'm a big shot down on Wall Street, right? I make a ton of money, and uh, I'm looking down my nose at you right now. But uh, I'm coming in here, and, you know, I want to buy the latest, greatest, fantastic electric vehicle. Um, tell me a little bit about the uh, retail shopping experience for Lucid. Right. Yeah, so you're in the right place. We're at the Lucid studio in the Meatpacking District in New York. And... Uh, it's great foot traffic, which is what we like to do for our studios, so that people can just walk right in and we can welcome them in and educate them and describe Lucid, and you can be immersed in the Lucid brand. So first you see the car, and that's always gonna be the focal point of one of our studios. It'll be, be the first thing you see. It'll create that intrigue and draw you in. And then uh, we like to describe the technology aspects of the company because it's so critical to our, our overall concept of the vehicle, the space concept. It allows the miniaturization of components and the intelligent packaging so we can create big space in the car. And uh, it also is what drives the efficiency. Of course, there's aerodynamics and rolling resistance and other things, but really that powertrain technology is, is super key. And then as you start to consider ownership, that's when we start to get into this space of the studio that you see here. We can, we can walk this way. This is where you, you find the interior themes of the vehicle. And each interior theme is based on a location in California and a time of day. So Santa Monica, for example, at five in the morning, just, to, just around sunrise, the way that the light plays with the objects, the way that you perceive your space is dependent on where the sun is throughout the day. So Santa Monica sunrise, Santa Cruz midday, Lake Tahoe, right at sunset, darker tones because that sun's going down. And then Mojave, the Mojave Desert in the middle of the night where everything's much darker. And then we also have the non-animal variant of the Mojave that's uh, available in, in the lucid air. And then what you can do is, is take a color, say Zenith Red. My favorite, by the way. Great, I chose, I chose wisely then. And then you can decide which of these interior themes you like best with the color. I'm going to guess this is you here. Personally, I'll take any interior with the Zenith Red. <laughs> okay. I, it is awesome. I got a chance to see it in person um, last year uh, uh -huh. when you had the other New York City event. And that thing, that is just gorgeous. So that car, gosh, I can't remember which interior that one has. I think it might have the Santa Cruz. Or you might want the quantum gray with the Tahoe, also a fantastic color combination. So now as you're developing that consideration and saying, gosh, I really like what this looks like, but I want to see what it looks like in a complete vehicle. You know, maybe I have some trouble understanding how it comes together. We can then bring you over to the virtual reality experience where you can put on the virtual reality headset mm -hmm and actually see the car in that configuration. It can drive up to you, you have your colors of choice, your theme of choice, and then maybe you're second guessing it and you wanna make some changes so we can adjust that for you as well. Okay. And then if you decide, yes, I'm really interested, you can reserve a vehicle. Uh, you can do that online on our website uh, and, uh, and you can go through the process there. We're here in New York, uh, as I said earlier, and in, in New York, this is uh, purely for education and marketing. You can't reserve uh, a vehicle in, in the studio here because of local laws, but you can go on the website or you can contact uh, our sales team in California and they can talk you through any, any of the purchasing experience uh, that you, you have questions about. Ah, uh, those famous dealer franchise laws that another electric vehicle company that we all know has been uh, kind of battling for the last uh, decade. Well, hopefully you get things sorted out and uh, are allowed to uh, sell directly in, uh, in, in all 50 states and also have showroom, beautiful showrooms like this where you can actually uh, sell the vehicle. But uh, 
that's to be determined. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thank you, Tom. Jenkins also showed me the large frunk on the Lucid Air, which has 9.9 .9 cubic feet of cargo space. And that's large considering that the Tesla Model S's frunk is only 5.3 cubic feet. It was actually set to be the largest frunk on any electric vehicle until the Ford F-150 Lightning came out with its enormous 14.1 cubic feet of cargo space in the front. That's almost not fair because it's a pickup truck. But in any event, this is a huge frunk. I also got the opportunity to take a spin in the Lucid Air. It was a grand touring version. I couldn't drive it, but uh, was able to go for a nice 20 minute ride around the city. And we specifically made sure that we drove over uh, irregular roads with potholes and uh, some of the streets that were cobblestone to see how well the air performed on these irregular surfaces. And they absorbed the uh, bumps and potholes pretty well. I was riding in the Grand Touring version, which has 800 horsepower, uh, slightly less than the 1,080 horsepower of the Dream Edition. We still did a couple of acceleration runs, and I was impressed to say the least. But mostly it was a simple drive around the city, which isn't the best place to do test drives. Uh, the Lucid Air Dream Edition is scheduled to begin deliveries in the second half of 2021, which is only about a week away. Deliveries were originally scheduled to begin in the spring of 2021, but that was pushed back a few months due to COVID-related delays. Well, that's at least the reason that CEO Peter Rawlinson gave when they announced that they were pushing back the launch of the Lucid Air Dream Edition.